What's up everybody? Uh, this is Motu Joe and I, as you can see in front of you I am working on some of the Castle Grayskull animated alarm clocks. Um, the one you see to your left is going to be mine. You can see the package and foam behind. It works. It's in good condition. It's actually in really good condition. As you can see to the right in the middle that's one I'm going to try to finalize and fix. This is Mr. John Adias. And then all the way to the right is the parts one. So yes, you are looking at three different uh, Castle Grayskull alarm clocks. So ideally what we want to have happen is we want this guy to perform something like this. If I can get it to do it. So freaking cool. Oh my gosh. So, now how does this do this? That's kind of why I'm doing the video. A lot of people, you know, have seen this clock. A lot of people that like to... Okay, so this is how you get it to do it. The gear ratio, it'll just keep going, and you'll see when I go over here to show you how that works, but it just keeps going down. You push the button. Resets. And as you can see, it's still going here, and you just close this. Okay, so... Uh, Ask people ask how do you look at the time? There's actually a little handle here that you that's how you would open the door So it's okay to open it manually and, and slide it up and down and again, you'll see how and or why so Anyway, let's take a little bit of closer look. This is the this is the instruction booklet uh, or pamphlet. I somehow have two of them um, But it's really basic. It's super 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 basic stuff um, and it really doesn't tell you diddly. <clears throat> but let's take a little bit closer look as to how in the heck does this a clock, how does this clock work and do this? So, a um, couple things I learned. I'm going to go a little freestyle here. A couple things I learned about going, uh, doing this project is inside here, this is the one that we're going to try to make work and function the way it's supposed to. Inside is this rubber band and it is just basically a very thick band and as you can see I've got a battery wedged in there and you can kind of see in the bottom here this plastic piece and we'll carefully tip this up you can see the screws that I need to keep in place you can't really see but you can barely see a pin way down there there's a little pin almost the screw is pointing down right at it that goes all the way across the other side where you see the battery you can't see underneath the battery ah well this is the beautiful thing I happen to have a parts one here that I can get even a little more in depth with and here we go so this is the front face of the Castle Grayskull alarm clock and this is some really, this is actually pretty amazing engineering uh, for back in the day. And I want to make sure I use that piece. Where did I just put it? Of course, this always happens when you, you go live. It was just out and now I am misplaced it. There it is. Okay. So, this is the drawbridge. Focus. There is the pin that I was talking about in the other image I was just, or the other shot. And here is basically like a, a slip gear. That rubber band winds up going underneath, around this, and then up into here. The spring allows it to slip, so that's why you can open it and close it. It doesn't really affect it, but here's where the engineering part gets crazy. Look at how tight that is, right? There is no glue. This piece is just forced in and there's where your oops I was off camera I apologize folks this is where that front pin gets wedged in kinda like so and it is so tight there's no glue it's just a force wedge in I, I was amazed to, to, fig, to see that because these plastic tabs I mean, they're 
this is older plastic, you know, that's pretty brittle stuff. Um, but it just, you got to trust it, it, it pops out. There's even a slight, that's the front face, but that's the back bevel there. But anyway, so this is what I learned when I first started to say about this is that if you take this apart and you think you're going to wind up, oh, okay, I'll get to it. No, that rubber band shrunk. It pulled in and it got really tight and there was no way it was going to stretch back up and over there. That was also prior to me figuring out that I could pop this door very carefully and, and take it off. So, all right, back to the working clock. You saw that when the clock came around, it wound up hitting the alarm. The alarm sent the characters up and this button had to be pushed in order to turn the alarm off. So, how does that work? <clears throat> well, this is the inside of the clock and this is the back side of it. As you can see, there are toggle switches. I'll switch hands here so I can point better. There's a toggle switch here. It goes up. There's a toggle switch down here. You can hear it click, goes down. And there's another one here. It's already in the down position. And yet another one down here, it's in the down position. The down position equates to, and this gets really tight because there's not much leeway here. So we're gonna actually let's just switch over to the to the, the the parts one for a minute. And I'm sorry, I tried to get out of the light. So how does that all translate? Now this is already pretty much in parts, but it'll give you an idea. <clears throat> this pushes down. You can see it start to see a little pin action going on and there's nothing holding this in place this plate here goes in right here and that would hold it in place but right now I have it apart for, for various reasons but um, this goes down and when this goes down you can see here on the on the right right here this arm goes up and down now this little elbow right down here is really important this little elbow right here again flip this over it's right here on the clock and here on the clock is the switch that is the alarm on <clears throat> excuse me the alarm on and alarm off and I have no faith that this is going to focus enough for you to be able to read that but Let's go to the parts one. I believe I can get this to focus. Apologize. Let's get it right side up. So <clears throat> this would be in the in the uh, Castle Grayscale clock. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh come on! Sorry, folks. That's not going to focus. Well, I maybe I had better light, but again, <clears throat> there we go. On, off, so that's that switch, and I'm going to stay on here for just a second since I've got the good light, and you can see this says start, stop, all right? This is the actual play mechanism, so it actually needs to be in the start position, but um, we'll, we'll get to that. You don't even need to have, you won't even have access to this button from the outside of the clock. So that's why it has to be in the up position, which is basically the, the start position, which you can't see. So anyway, back to that switch. And I know this is not going to stick, so you can play it over and over again. This is the on off position, right? That's the alarm. That's what's making it go off. When you push down on this plunger, this is that click that you hear <clears throat> pushes all the way down there's two switches here that it hits on the back side but this is what pushes down and turns off the alarm which is why because I'm still within the same hour over here all I have to do is basically flip 
and this is not going to come into focus, I, I, I highly doubt, and of course I'm proven wrong instantly. There's a black switch that you can't hardly tell is there because it's so black. This is a very good condition clock. This is the basically on off position or on is down, off is up. Uh, I'm sorry, down is, <laughs> I said that backwards, apologize, but if I go up and it's a weird switch. Of course now it's not gonna work for me. Well, I'll flip it around so that way I can do it more naturally. This will set your alarm. Alarm set. Here's your time, time set, and this is something that's really important here. You have to pull this back out. It's a push in to set, and you have to pull it back out in order for the clock to start. Once the clock starts, that activates everything. It's really important in regards to the circuitry and having everything work the way it should. <clears throat> um, so anyway, now I wanna make sure that this works, so I'm gonna set this down. I know this isn't gonna be in great view, but now I wanna make sure that this is working the way I just had it. There we go. All right, again, not the greatest technology, but when I push down, you'll hear the click, and then that other click right there was it snapping up. <clears throat> it was also pushing this down, so as you can see, the whole thing pushes down. All right, I've harped on that long enough. There's a whole series of switches here that wind up controlling how this all works, and again, this one's already apart, but here's the interesting thing. This little motor pushes up, and the guys will go up to the top, and that's it. It won't continue to push because the gear is 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 a, is a <clears throat> not doesn't allow it to. But here, this one will keep spinning. This will keep spinning to allow that drawbridge to come down. And it's a really slow draw. And so, yeah, that's why it takes a lot longer. So, if anyone was wondering, that's what that is. That's what these are here. These gears are taken apart because, again, this is the good one. And what I'm doing with the good one. Again, the wires are very short. Is I will swap out the top for the good one here. Put that up there, make that work. Here, I took these gears off because I needed to get access or I thought I had to get access to this. Then I figured out the plate came out. You take it apart, you learn. And in the process here, this should wind up working and each one of those switches, when you push down, cause them to trip, which then again, oh, come on. Sorry, it's difficult to do with one hand. Again, that will make this mechanism come down. Again, that closes the circuit, it knows it's down, and then we're good to go again for recycle. <clears throat> so this isn't gonna be what I would consider a stellar tutorial by any means, but, <clears throat> I tried to get this one working as well. You can see here, um, the clock mechanism is bad in this, which is shocking, but it, it, it is. These things are were pretty tough um, for what they were, but she's no good. I can't get juice, and I've I double checked solders and resoldered stuff. Even though all the wire is the same, I matched it up because the good the good one over here. So anyway, this is your. Um, simple tutorial here or I guess a behind the scenes of the uh, uh, Masters of the Universe Castle Grayskull animated alarm clock and um, <clears throat> yeah I will give you an update and hopefully we will see the action that we saw over there come out of the middle one here and whatever John decides to do with these part guys over here I look forward to seeing that maybe he'll make Maybe he'll reach out to Tom Ace and have him make a, one of those little portable arcades that he made out of this alarm clock, which was freaking brilliant. So anyway, this is my little, little behind the scene hack, and thank you much for watching. If anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.